Okay, this um, video is going to introduce you to the extrusion tool. It's one of the um, most commonly used tools in 3D modeling, and it's one of the tools that you'll be using the most throughout the year. Okay, so what is the extrusion tool? The extrusion tool is a tool that creates a new set of polygons around the one that you have selected, but it allows you to also add in a lot more detail into an object in a quite a fluid way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by selecting a box. And I'm going to draw it in a rectangular shape here. That should be okay. I'm going to get rid of the grid. Um, I don't like the grid that much. I think it gets in the way. So if I click on this icon, you can, get, you can hide the grid. Okay, I'm going to select my polygon for the extrusion tool by holding the right mouse over, selecting face, and now clicking on my polygon. I've got self select on, so I'm just going to turn that off. Right, the extrude tool can be found in two places. You can find it here under the polygons tab, or you can go to edit mesh and find it here under extrude. I'm just going to click on that, and you'll see when I press extrude, all these handles come up the arrows, the squares, and the circle. And the arrows denote that you can move it, squares denote that you can scale it and the circle denotes that you can rotate it, but I don't like using these. I like just pressing W, E, or R straight after I extrude. It's very important that if you ever use an extrude on a polygon, that you move it, scale it, or rotate it in some direction. Otherwise, you'll have polygons lying on top of polygons, and uh, when you come to texture it, it's going to be very difficult. It's going to be near impossible to do so correctly. Okay, so I'm going to scale this in just by clicking the middle square and you can see that these new polygons appear and this is what the extrude button has actually done it's made these new polygons around the original one I was selected so then this allows me to add in more detail into my object now since the last tool that I used was the extrude tool all I have to do is press the shortcut key G and that will use the last tool that I've actually selected which was the extrude so I'm going to press G and those handles are going to come up again. I don't like them, so I'm going to press W, and I'm going to pull my cube out. And again, it's made these new polygons all around the polygon that I've selected and used the extrude tool on. So now I can add more detail into my object.